Hello? Alan, please tell me you're back at some beef. I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home. To Alice. Writer's room currently unavailable. Oh, writer's room. Not the detective room, the writer's room. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Go make a good horror story. of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Neighbors of the Beast. I like the sound of that. Mr. Door, can I get an autograph? I'd never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Locked in. Anybody? Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Great. Oh, it has to be somewhere around here. Oh, I think I know. Six, six, five, baby. can't miss. If I miss that, then I'm the biggest city you've ever walked this planet. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Scratch? Impossible to say. I killed you before. Let's chill, my friend. for air this place felt familiar a ghost of a memory surfaced about riding here for countless days We're back here so this is the writer's room a plot board for mapping out a story on the index cards the nightmare that just happened to me a summary of the story so far but other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. Some 
Try not play some random ass music. Copyrighted shit, people. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I, I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? Uh... Dude. <laughs> he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. <laughs> Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. <laughs> this city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing that shed light on this sordid mystery. Murder Case Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? <gasps> ah, here we go again. A lamp shaped like an angel. in the right code, right? Six, six, five. Wait. 
Five, six. Five, six. Five. Oh, they're changing the code up. Clever. Trying to be sneaky, huh? That's a bitch. through this again. Is my dead body over there? Oh. Hello? Is that Cal? Ah, Lord Aid. There you are, Tom. Oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, who are you? Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. It's the work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but... You can get it yourself now. Uh, no, I'm good. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> You go in the basement. Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. What do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got a bag of a man's. A man, but the man with the tool makes two, Tom. Egane. Scratch. And a man with the tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Okay, thank you. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had face. to trust the basement would get me out of here. Makes me wonder, how does this man not shit in the dark? Does, can he poop in the dark? Can he piss in the dark? Can he eat in the dark? Yum. I'll just open this up. Maybe it'll help me get by without getting in trouble. Yeah, something's in here with me. Oh joy. Never like turned this and going into a fucking basement. in a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? Oh, 
lamp shaped like an angel. The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. Where did I get that satchel? I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. That is dope and I love it. Take that old man for the angel of light for the light switch. I needed to find another way out. to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Oh, Not so real, this is connected to the clicker. Real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the bottom to find the answer, the, the map, and the key, the compass, that's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean that's not an ocean, and a lake? This is level. End of part. Shit. Alan was tweaking. He was losing his shit. That'd be good if I had any. safe station like now or something.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. Remember to smack the like button like it's Reagan's butt cheek, and remember to smack the subscribe button like it's the left cheek. Good night everybody, and sweet dreams.